pero nakalimutan ko ay tigus sa card. Okay guys, so we're now here sa around Poblacion kasi we're staying here. Overnight lang naman kasi may fi-film lang si Nicole. Then ako, mag-google lang ako dito. So, Poblacion. Ito, Poblacion tong place ito. Where's it? Tawag sa place. Yeah, I'll just do a quick update na later siguro once I'm done. Okay, update. It's currently 6:01 p.m. Mama, ang tabe. I'm not sure if mga kapag edit ako or mita tapusin na kung project for school or pa pa rin kung siya tapusin pa rin. So the next week start na ng exam namin. Ngayon then tomorrow, I'm not sure if mga kapag aral na ako. If hindi pa Sunday talaga whole day aral lang kasi delay may time. Beverage preferences: 69% of the students enjoyed both coffee and non-coffee beverages, while 17% favored coffee exclusively, and 14% preferred non-coffee options. Okay, so based on the survey findings, where 98% of the respondents believe that TikTok is effective in promoting coffee shops around the LSU, and they consider TikTok reviews to be an important factor when making decisions about purchasing coffee or non-coffee beverages. So. We highly recommend. Okay, guys. So, tapos na guys. Actually, hindi naman na kaon kam yung presentation na. Okay, guys. So nagbis na ako ng pangbay pero hindi pa nagilam and skincare. But since waiting kami sa food namin, what time na pala? It's 7:34 and mago pa kami tomorrow. So hindi ko sure kung kung ano oras kami. Fun fact about me. Kapag nagilap tapo ako, gusto ko may mouse. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Gusto ko lang lagi may mouse. Ay, may syempre pag nasa labas hindi na. Pero pag may time ako or may space naman, hindi talaga siya gagaan niya. Now, I'm studying for accounting naman. I have a 9 a.m. class. So, gusto na mag-finish this long class. So, if gagawa ng seat payments, capital balances, if merong loan, and then total interest, plus the possible loans na galing sa non-cash assets. Realization is the process of converting non-cash cash. Gain, gain on your realization, the exit of selling price. Price of all It's currently, I think, mga 8.30 na. And actually, sarado na yung escalator. But yeah, I'm going home na. And Good morning. So, nakalimutan ko yung ID ko sa car. So, hinihintay ko si Dad. Nakuha ko na ID ko kasi nung parating ako here, um, naiwan ko yung ID ko sa car. So, 
bumalik din. Ang aga pa, it's 8am pa lang ulit. And the exam ko is 9. Like what I said last night. So right now, I'm just gonna study hanggang mag 8.45. Then I'll go sa campus. Ay, I mean sa room ng mga 8.50 siguro. Breakfast na. But after this, I'll go home again. Because it's well gone. last basically is exam ko na today by 10.30 pa naman so ayun um, studying finance kasi yun yung exam ko today um, after this college vlog kasi I'm planning to go to not sure pa kung saan but gusto ko mag beach yeah Hi guys, so we're here in Salasal. It's currently 2:45 p.m. and we're here kahit um, term break na namin kasi may film kami. So we decided na magpunta here since makati yung after ng agenda. Okay, so hi guys. I'm using my phone as my microphone because I'm kind of angry right now. And maybe I didn't hear you very well. So, pasensya na if may hawak ng phone. But since I'm waiting pa naman sa kapatid ko, I'm just gonna do a Q&A since I already asked you guys sa threads. Okay, before we start pa lang, um, tapos na yung finals ko. So, it's just an update. Um, tapos na. That's why nakaayos ako right now. Kasi, third is kasi I'm planning to go sa Greenbelt. Ang frequently asked question naman sa akin, everything na nag-upload ako is kung ano yung college course ko. So, I'm currently taking marketing management. And, why ko pinili yun? Kasi, actually, hindi ko di alam. Joke. Since yung ginagawa ko right now for work is somehow or related talaga siya sa course ko right now. So, okay, so first question natin, ano pag ba ng senior high school sa college? So, nung senior high ako, parang one year lang ako nag-face-to-face nun. So, hindi ko totally na experience yung full senior high school. Feel ko pinag ba kasi right now, college right now, nag enlist na kami. So, like, hawak ko na yung schedule ko compared nung senior high school ako. Like, may sinusundan talaga kaming schedule, MWF, TTH, mga ganun. But right now, um, pwede ako mag-set ng subject sa time na gusto ko or pwede kong kunin yung subject na gusto ko. Sa day or sa time na gusto ko. Question na ito, hindi na po ba kayo nakatira sa parents nyo? Kasi I feel like nakikita nyo, lagi kami nasa hotel or stay kami somewhere. Nakatira pa rin kami sa parents. Kasi supposedly, gusto ko talaga mag-condo around here sa top. Pero hindi, hindi, kami, hindi kami pinapayagan. So, yeah, nakatira pa rin kami sa bahay. And every time na mag-hotel kami, kasama pa rin si na mami. So, may nag-ask kung ano daw pinakamahirap na subject. For me, ang pinakamahirap right now is accounting. 
sa course ko, like sa marketing ko, may accounting pa rin kami. And meron din kami law, but I feel like mas mahirap yung accounting kasi ewan ko, ang hirap talaga. Huwag yun ako nun. Joke. Any advice for incoming freshman? Nung crush ako, online siya. So, hindi ko siya na-experience sa campus. And especially if bago ka talaga sa school and mula ka kilala, advice talaga na pwede kong sabihin is to collaborate with people and choose your people wisely kasi yung makakasama mo dapat sa ano like sa maayos since college is hard kapag hindi ka nakasurrounded by people na maayos parang ganun kasi if parehas kayo ng goals sa life and mindset I feel like madali yun kasi magtutulungan how to be productive po sometimes hindi ko ito na-achieve pero kailangan maging productive especially if marami kang agenda sa isang araw and marami kang gustong um, gawin so kasi ang mod motivation sometimes so wala yan di ba pero if you have discipline um makukontinue mo yung goal mo parang ganun i don't know if nagme-make sense pero yun lang yung ginagawa ko if dun, yun yung titingnan ko kasi sometimes i mean hindi naman araw-araw may motivation or araw-araw motivated ka pero if may discipline ka magagawa mo pa rin yung isang bago. How do you manage your time in studies, content creating, and many more? Ako gumagawa ng sked ko. So, nakikita ko yung days na, or alam ko yung day na pwede akong, pwede ko isingit yung work. Like, for example, Thursday and Friday online lang. So, I don't have to go here sa ta. Mag-online class na ako outside then mag-shoot ng content. Parang ganun. Parang minamaximize ko lang yung araw sa isang link. How has being a content creator impacted your personal growth po as a student? I feel like this one, jo familiar na ako sa field since na I'm working sa same industry and I'm doing then or inaaral ko din yung ganong industry. Lalo kong ma-enjoy yung course ko kasi nga related siya sa ginagawa ko din sa everyday life ko. So, at the last question na ako ginagawa niyo para hindi ma-stress sa school. Siyempre, i-balance mo din yung life, work, and student life mo. Parang ganun. Magkawin ka ng day para sa sarili mo, day para sa fam, of course, with your friends. So, I think parang halos similar na lang yung mga questions, like paano nakakayanan pagsabay yung work and school. Like what I said nga, if gusto mo yung parehas, magagawa na magagawa ng paraan. So yeah, I think yun naman yung questions na kinask nyo guys. Thank you so much yung mga nag-send ng questions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next.